day 521 using the sh sound to get Twix to vocalize less. Step 1. Make the sh sound and give a treat. Repeat many times. I want the sh to be positive and for Twix to know good things happen when he hears it. Step 2. Cue Twix to speak because I know his bark is loud. Then make the sh sound and reward when he is quiet. Good job. Step 3. Practice with different behaviors. Cue the behavior, and if he whines or barks, make the sh sound and reward when he is quiet. Since I am working on him being quiet, I am decreasing my criteria for the tricks he is doing. Once he is being quiet, I can increase my criteria for the tricks or behaviors again. Step 4. Pairing the sh sound with touch. I am doing this because I want Twix to be able to calm down with my touch. It helps us be more connected. Step 5. Cue a behavior, make the sh sound, connect through touch when quiet, and then reward with food. <coughs> My goal is to teach Twix to be less vocal. If he is vocal, I want the sh sound and or my touch to help him be more relaxed.